As the Federal Reserve continues its intricate dance with inflation, Chair Jerome Powell finds himself navigating a precarious tightrope, carefully calibrating each step to ensure a soft landing for the American economy. In twin testimonies before Congress this week, the Fed chief's measured words carried the weight of a nation's financial well-being as he sought to strike a delicate balance between battling persistent price pressures and mitigating potential shocks to the labor market. It is a high-wire act of profound consequence, one that demands a deft touch and an unwavering commitment to the central bank's dual mandate of promoting maximum employment and maintaining price stability. With each utterance, Powell must delicately maneuver the levers of monetary policy, cognizant that a misstep could reverberate through the intricate tapestry of the global economy. Yet, Amid the cacophony of data and the clamor of competing interests, Powell's remarks this week offered a glimmer of cautious optimism, a tentative belief that the Fed's aggressive campaign to tame inflation may be bearing fruit. I do have some confidence that inflation is receding, the Fed chair declared, his words carrying the weight of a nation's hopes. However, Powell swiftly tempered that optimism with a sobering caveat, acknowledging that the path to restoring price stability remains shrouded in uncertainty. The question is, are we sufficiently confident that it is moving sustainably down to 2%? And I'm not prepared to say that yet, he confessed, a nod to the formidable challenges that still lie ahead. In this high-stakes game of economic brinkmanship, Powell's every word is scrutinized, every nuance parsed for hidden meaning. His testimony this week encapsulated the delicate balancing act that the Fed must perform, an intricate choreography of data analysis, policy adjustments, and public messaging. On one hand, the Fed chair sought to reinforce the central bank's unwavering commitment to bringing inflation back to its 2% target, a goal that has eluded policymakers for over a year. The job is not done on inflation. We have more work to do there, Powell declared. His words a rallying cry to those who fear the corrosive effects of unchecked price growth. Yet, even as he reaffirmed the Fed's resolve, Powell acknowledged the mounting concerns over the labor market's fragility. We are also very focused on considerable softening in the labor market, he cautioned, underscoring the delicate interplay between price stability and employment, the twin pillars upon which the Fed's mandate rests. It is a precarious tightrope, one that demands a deft touch and an acute awareness of the interconnected nature of economic forces. A misstep in either direction could prove catastrophic, tightening too aggressively risks plunging the nation into a deep recession, while a premature easing of monetary policy could reignite the inflationary flames. Yet, amid this intricate dance, Powell exuded a sense of measured confidence, a belief that the Fed's carefully calibrated actions were beginning to yield results. Recent price readings have shown modest further progress, he noted, acknowledging the tentative signs of progress while tempering expectations with a pragmatic caveat. More good data would strengthen the central bank's confidence that inflation was returning to its 2% target. This cautious optimism, However, belies the immense complexities that lie beneath the surface. Powell's testimony touched on a myriad of interrelated factors, each with the potential to disrupt the Fed's delicate choreography. From the ongoing process of trimming the central bank's bloated balance sheet to the intricate negotiations surrounding capital requirements for the nation's largest banks, Powell's remarks painted a picture of an institution grappling with a multitude of challenges, each with profound implications for the overall health of the economy. On the balance sheet front, the Fed chair acknowledged the substantial progress made thus far, with holdings reduced by a staggering $1.7 trillion. Yet, he cautioned that we think we have a good ways to go, a recognition that the process of unwinding the unprecedented monetary stimulus unleashed during the pandemic remains a work in progress. Powell's comments also shed light on the intricate negotiations surrounding capital requirements for the nation's largest financial institutions. In a nod to the collaborative nature of the process, he emphasized the strictly collaborative and very productive discussions with fellow regulators, even as disagreements persist over the specific contours of the plan. Amid this delicate dance, Powell's testimony offered a rare glimpse into the inner workings of the Fed's decision-making process, a window into the intricate calculations and trade-offs that shape the nation's monetary policy. Yet, for all the technical complexities and nuanced considerations, Powell's overarching message was one of steadfast determination and unwavering commitment. Banks will have to live with the changes for a long time, he declared, a stark reminder that the consequences of the Fed's actions reverberate far beyond the confines of the central bank's hallowed halls.
As financial markets eagerly await further clues on the timing of potential interest rate cuts, Powell's testimony served as a sobering reminder of the delicate balance the Fed must strike. While an uptick in unemployment has fueled political pressure for a loosening of monetary policy, the Fed chair's remarks underscored the institution's resolute focus on achieving sustained price stability. In this high-stakes game of economic brinkmanship, Powell's every word carries immense weight, each utterance carefully crafted to navigate the treacherous terrain of monetary policy. It is a delicate dance, one that demands unwavering precision and an acute awareness of the interconnected nature of economic forces. As the nation looks on with bated breath, the Fed chair's performance this week offered a glimpse into the immense challenges that lie ahead. Yet, amid the uncertainty and the delicate balancing act, one truth emerged with crystalline clarity. Powell and his fellow policymakers remain steadfastly committed to guiding the American economy toward a soft landing, navigating the turbulent currents of inflation with a deft touch and an unwavering resolve. For in the end, the path to price stability is not a mere economic imperative, but a sacred trust bestowed upon the guardians of the nation's financial well-being. And as Powell's testimony made abundantly clear, the Federal Reserve stands ready to meet that challenge, one delicate step at a time.